Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly Pest Watch update. I'm Jen Russell, online copy editor for AgWeb.com. With me today is Gus Lorenz, University of Arkansas Extension Entomologist. Now Gus, you said you've seen all kinds of pest problems down your way. Would you care to elaborate on that? It's been a, a much warmer than normal spring for us here in, in the Mid-South and in, in Arkansas. and We've had a, an abundance of wild host uh, weeds uh, that have flourished uh, through the early spring and as a result of that a lot of our pest uh, insects have have done extremely well and they're they have been staging on these wild hosts for for a couple of months and we really feel like because of the warmer weather we're probably actually going into an, an extra generation for a lot of these pests uh, for example, uh, plant bugs, uh, which are you know our number one pest of cotton in Arkansas, have been building on on these wild hosts, all the the flower and host out there that you see right now, and we're seeing extremely high numbers. Uh, you know, it's not uncommon for us to see over a hundred uh, plant bugs staging in wild host in ten sweeps on the edges of fields. So the numbers are extremely high. Another good example are, are bow worms. Uh, we started out uh, trapping three weeks ago, and, and generally about this time we, you know, we'll see about 20 to 30 miles per trap per week. Well, last week the trap numbers jumped up to over 300 miles per trap, and these are numbers that we don't normally see in, for another month, month and a half. So. What I would say is the, the pest situation is about a month ahead of schedule of where it usually is. Uh, some other pests that we're seeing uh, in our soybeans right now, we most of our soybeans are are seedling stage or you know two or three leaf stage, and and we're beginning to pick up fall army worms, garden web worms, the army worm complex like yellow stripes and. And we're on the front end of it, uh, but it seems like they're pretty much shadowing what we're seeing with the bow worms, and they're they're getting started in our seedling soybeans. These bow worms, these huge numbers of miles that we're seeing, you know, we're concerned about where they're going. You know, they they only got a few choices. There's the corn, the most of our corn is uh, about knee high, whorl stage corn. Uh, we'll probably see some of them go there, and then into the seedling soybeans. So. Uh, you know, a lot of insect activity uh, early on in Arkansas right now. So do you have any scouting tips that farmers in your area could use for these pests? On, on the numbers that we're seeing, we're advising growers to get out and, and you know, don't think that, that seedling soybeans are safe from, from damage, particularly from these kind of caterpillar pests. They can actually uh, uh, cause 100 percent defoliation and we can see some loss of stand if we're not careful so we're advising growers and consultants to get out there and scout those fields very closely for developing worm populations and and based on what we're seeing I think that that's good advice for them to get out and check right now because I think in the next week to 10 days we're really going to see a lot of damage if, if we're not careful. And do you have any tips for managing these pests if growers do find them in their fields? Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know, what we saw last year with the high bowworm numbers, you know, I'm really kind of leery about spraying a lot of pyrethroids out at this time of year and, and damaging our beneficial complex. I feel like, you know, we need to look at some alternatives maybe like uh, Intrepid or Tracer and and uh, maybe something that's not so damaging to our beneficial complex. So my advice is, you know, if you get in that situation where you have army worms or garden web worms, maybe you want to consider something that's not as damaging to uh, beneficials like Intrepid or Tracer or something like that. Okay, thank you, Gus. Great advice, and thank you for being with us today. This has been your weekly Pest Watch Report.